So the tools of creative thinking will help you to analyse these ideas effectively and make better decisions about what's true and what's useful in the world. As the picture at the bottom of this slide shows, there are three options you can take on that road. Which one do you think would be best? It would be your critical judgement that would make your mind up about that and about any issues that you'd be studying when you're doing your work at college. So the critical thinking and method is not about whether you're personally a trusting or a sceptical person. Instead, it's about following a set method which helps you to explore evidence and arrive at your own well-reasoned conclusion. Argument means that critical thinking is looking at another person's view or their argument, which is the message they're trying to communicate. This argument might be in the form of a speech, some writing, a performance, or another type of media, such as a blog. Critical thinking helps you to identify the obvious and hidden messages more accurately, and also to understand the process by which other people construct their arguments. So we use our reasoning, we use our brains to solve problems. Being rational means using reasons. And we talk about rational thought when we use our reason to weigh up evidence from other people. Critical reasoning is when you look at other people's reasoning and try and grasp their own argument. Then, how you evaluate their argument is how you reason about it critically. You'll need to be able to do the following things when you're analysing other people's arguments. You need to be able to identify their reasons and their conclusions, analyse their line of reasoning, evaluate whether their reasons support their conclusions, and then identify any mistakes or weaknesses that you can find in their reasoning. Reasoning involves analysing evidence and drawing your own conclusions. So for example, if you read the essay of somebody else about why Macbeth killed the king, you would look at all the reasons they gave in each paragraph that leads up to their conclusion to work out whether their line of argument is a rational, well-reasoned one and their conclusion makes sense. Here's a small example that you can use. You might say that it's a hot day Someone else might disagree with you and ask you why you think it's a hot day. We could show them our evidence. The thermometer reading is high, the weather report on our computer says that it's going to be very hot, and you've got sweat on the brow of your head. These basic examples of reasoning lead to the conclusion that it's a hot day, and we use them all the time. In essays and reports for academic work, we need to use these type of skills all the time to arrive at conclusions, and we select them and organise them to support our own arguments. Usually we do that in the form of different paragraphs that lead up to our concluding paragraph. How well you do that will determine how good your work is at third level. So critical thinking is really important. It has a few really big benefits. It gives you better observational skills. It helps you to improve your attention and focus. It means that when you're reading, you can read in a more focused way, and when you're listening, you can focus more on that too. It helps you to identify key points and to avoid distractions. It helps you to make your points effectively when you're writing your own work. And finally, you don't just need critical reasoning for essays and reports. You need it in the whole of your life, and it really defines you as a human being as to how well you can think logically and reasonably and make your own conclusions about things. So critical thinking should be very helpful to you in your studies and also in your general life. And that's the end of Unit 1. Never stop questioning ideas that you read and things that you hear, and learn to be confident by practising the skills of critical thinking to arrive at your own well-reasoned conclusions. There's some further reading on the last slide there if you're interested in finding out more about an introduction to critical thinking. But for now, that's all from me. Goodbye.